Hey everybody, what's cooking? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a tune by The Strokes. The adults are talking. We're gonna play some of it, then we're gonna talk about it. Huh, cause the adults are talking. You were waiting for the elevator. You were saying all the words I'm dreaming. No more asking questions or excuses. Information's here. Here and everywhere. piece of it so let's dive into it um so we've got our intro and chorus chords we got a little looper pedal going here to play that intro riff which is so cool this is the riff here we go Let's talk about the uh, chords. First one, and this is for the intro and for um, the uh, the chorus and uh, coda. G minor. So we do a classic bar chord, right? That's one option where you bar along the third fret and then add your ring finger to the fifth fret of the A string. That's fine. Or you can change it up a little bit and do sort of a jazzier version, um, G minor seven, which is basically sounds the same, a little bit different voicing. So to do that, you've got your middle finger on the third fret of low E, that same finger is gonna mute the A string, and then you're gonna use your ring finger to bar along the third fret of D, G, and B. Don't go there, cause I never return. I know you'll think of me. C7. So we could play it here. But let's not play it there. Let's do a bar version of it. So uh, you're gonna use your index to bar along the eighth fret. And then you're going to put your ring finger on the tenth fret of A, and then middle finger on the ninth fret of G. So you have eight, ten, eight, nine, eight, eight. Second chord. Third chord is F major seven. So for that, you've got your index on the first fret of B, middle finger on the second fret of G, pinky on the third fret of D, ring finger on the third fret of A. That ring finger is going to mute do some uh, touching of the low E string, so you mute that, and then have that open E string ringing out. That's our third chord, and then the last chord of the chorus is a B flat major chord. So, 
index finger across the sixth fret of the e flat uh, of the, all the strings, then uh, ring finger on the eighth fret of A, pinky on the eighth fret of D, middle finger on the seventh fret of G. But what I recommend doing is B flat major seven. Got to throw in some nice jazz chords here. So uh, it's a fun way to spice it up. Why not, right? Um, so to do that, you've got your index finger on the sixth fret of low E. Use that same finger to mute the A string. And then you've got your ring finger on the seventh fret of D, pinky on the seventh fret of G, middle on the sixth fret of B. By the way, this shape, this is your major seven shape with the E string as your root. So this is B flat major seven. But if you moved it up two frets, this would be C major seven. So it's a good one to have in the toolbox. Um, so those are all the chords. Uh, G uh, minor seven. Don't go there cause you never return. I know you'll C seven. Think of me when you think of her and then you F major seven. Trying hard without recompense, but then you but a B flat major seven. Ba -da 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 -da. That's it. Those chords. The riff. Looper going here. I'm only one guy, so we gotta have the looper going. This is that riff. do is you've got your index finger on the there are basically four figures just like there are four chords in the chorus there are four figures um, for the riff that plays in the intro and in all the choruses okay so the first figure is and they're all in the D and the A strings but the first figure is index on the eighth fret of D and ring finger on the tenth fret of A okay so eight, eight, ten, and then eight, eight, ten. And then you transition by going seven, eight on the D string. This is figure number two. Eight, eight, seven on the A string. Eight, eight, seven. And then our next transition. Five to seven on the D string to the eighth fret of the A strings. That's our third figure. Seven, seven, eight. Seven, seven, eight. Then one more transition. Five, seven on the D string to five on the A string. So again, figure one, eight and ten. Eight on the D string, ten on the A string. This is figure two. it to play it really fast the way they do in the song you got to do a lot of down up picking try to stay pretty precise keep your hand rested your wrists sort are of resting on the bridge there because a lot of the work is all right here um, so you can play along with a fast It. The 
love it. There is another riff that plays in the coda over the same chords of the chorus. Um, the... This one. So, what are they doing there? Um, here we've got our index on the 10th fret of the E string. We're in standard tuning, by the way, if I can say that. Um, anyway, standard tuning. Uh, 10th fret of the E string, 11th fret of the B string. Then, 8th fret of the B string. Next figure, take that shape, bring it up to... 12 and 13. Eighth fret of the B string. Then we've got third fring, uh, our third figure here. 13, 13 to 10 on the B string to 13, 15 to 11 on the B string. So again, Verses, right? Uh, you were waiting for the So here we got our F major 7. These are the verse chords. Uh, F major 7. But you can basically wrap your hand around the guitar. Don't let either E string ring out. Because it's very syncopated. You want to do those sort of uh, uh, upstrokes. Um, they've been saying your sophisticated D minor, second chord. So you play it here, but let's keep it with a bar chord. So here I'm doing like a mini cheat bar chord um, for D minor. Uh, seven uh, with your ring finger on the D string, pinky on the seventh fret of the G string, middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string, index on the fifth fret of the high E. That's it. That's our D minor. You were waiting for the elevator, climbing up your walls. C major chord. That's it. Bar version. So we got 8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8. Climbing up your walls. And then don't go. But it's still so much fun. Really fun chords. Really pretty chords. Fun way to spice up a uh, rock and roll tune. Um, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, I think we covered all the uh, main parts there. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.